here's the real thing. For just 15 cents, you can get a bottle of soda. So I found this guy at a local auction and I've had it running for a couple hours. Oh yeah, it's cold. I think it's working. And it was absolutely packed full of trash. Mouse trash. There was one big rat that was dead in it. But it's uh it's all there, it seems like. And it's pretty cool to load it. You slide these guys over, and you can pack the bottles. In there. And there's these little clips. And I'm wondering if maybe there's a way that you're supposed to be able to uh, hold it, you know pull it over and hold it there while you're loading it. I'm not so sure. But, um, my wife has wanted one of these for quite some time. So, this is going to be her Christmas present. I need to work on this. Um, you throw some, uh, you throw some coins in. 15 cents and it just shoots out the bottom so it's not really taking anything I don't know maybe there's just a safety in there that says if there's no soda don't take any money I'm not sure how that works so I need to research these a little bit more So this is the uh, condensate drain pan and it goes in by the compressor and my guess is that um, when the um, stock person was refilling the coke machine um, that they were supposed to drain that pan or dump it out. But what intrigues me is the newspapers that the rat has made a nest out of. They're old, and it just makes me wonder how long has it been since this was actually in circulation? Um, credit cards. No area codes on the phone number. Um, cool stuff. I'd like to see if I can find a date, but I also want to uh, be healthy, so I don't know what I'm going to do as far as that goes yet, but there's some cool stuff in there, I'm sure. There were some advertisements and other things that I was uh, finding when I was cleaning the rest out, so I'm pretty well versed in appliances, um, such as water heaters or furnaces, but I've never really gotten much into refrigeration. Um, but this is pretty cool. I mean, I've seen these opened up before, but nowhere near this old. And I'm just, uh, I'm excited for the fact that this is very chilled, um, that it is actually cooling. Um, this is an R12 unit, and I'm guessing that it hasn't been converted to 134A. So just the fact that it's working is, is good stuff. This is the uh, service card that was on the, um, on the compressor. 
and it's obviously seen better days, but it's still pretty cool to see. So as mentioned, <clears throat> current issues are that the Coca-Cola um, panel is not lit. And then also the coin changer is not working. So it looks like I might be able to figure out how to bypass that coin changer altogether and just make it so you have to just put a, um, you know, push the button and it will work just fine. This is quite a large diagram and it's on the inside of this refrigerator door. And so what I'll probably end up doing is taking some pictures of it and reprinting that so I can mark it up and do whatever I would like um, to be able to trace wires within the system. But this whole project is going to be a surprise to my wife for Christmas. So um, I need to make sure that she doesn't know about it. So tonight, after I cooked dinner, she asked me what I did all day. And when I listed the things that I had done, it didn't add up. <laughs> so I've got to figure out a way to make shop time uh, double time. So I figured I would start with the power cord. You know, sometimes the keep it simple stupid thing um, really makes sense. So if I just started with power supply and worked my way through the rest of the diagram, it might make some sense. Well, check this out. I wish I would have gotten this on camera, and I probably still can with the rest of the wire. Check out that ground wire. <laughs> and it just literally fell apart. So, I'm going to start by um, taking this cover off right here and figuring out what's in there and actually checking the integrity of all of the wires in this. Because if that's any indicator of what I'm working with, I might as well make this safe. Um, because this is a gift for my wife, I don't know if this is going to end up in our living room or if it might end up in the shop here. <clears throat> but either way, I don't want anything burning down and that's important. So that's where I'm going to start is just uh, troubleshooting some of the wiring and I'm going from there. Now I realize that this was 1960s or 1970s technology. I get that. But, you know, imagine having to trace the white wire. <laughs> I think everything in this is a white wire. Um, I just took this panel off because I saw there was wiring behind it. And everything's dirty and filthy. So just one more place that could have a short or a future short. So I'm going to take this uh, little plastic or maybe some thin aluminum, I think it's plastic. I'll take that off and get down to the point where I can actually inspect wires and inspect things. So luckily so far, <clears throat> just the integrity of the power cord is the one giving me fit. Look at that. Just coming right apart. Um, but luckily it's just spade terminals into the incoming 
um, power block and I don't know if that's a transformer right there or what but I will just keep on keeping on well so far it looks like just the power cable is compromised so <clears throat> I will uh, keep this all intact because each one of these wires has a certain length to them to make them um, to make them fit inside that box and so I will um, make a new power cord accordingly and I guess that's what I need to do next